boys, 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 and girls. Okay, look, evolution now eh, is why we don't walk bent over with our knuckles dragging on the ground. That's evolution for you. So we need to keep on evolving. Now, here is the plan. This body of Hanks now is brilliantly, brutally smooth. Oh, look at the welds. I've done all the welds on it. And yes, yes. However, dudes, to get this body to this level is five days. And even then, you have, look at the, all the plating up at the top's done. Yes. You, you got to like fill in at places with brass where it's just so rough that you can't sand it. Once you go through that stuff, you into the layers and then it's nah. So this I'll put um, some filler, sand it again there. You know, it's stuff like that. Now the point being that to get the body from off the printer to here is five days of my time. Five days. Roughly eight to nine, sometimes ten hours a day. And as Les Well said to me this morning, he's busy building one as well. He said to me, Rikas, the sanding, he's hot full. He's had it. He's had enough. He said to me, print everything for me in resin from here on. And I understand what he's saying because it's a lot of work to actually get this body to that sort of level that you see there. Now, the problem with resin is it's, it hates sunlight. You can't print this body in resin. You just, you just can't. Because um, UV resin, you know, once it's set and stuff like that, it's all good and well. But if it stands outside there in the sun by the club and that body gets to like uh, 60 degrees up surface temperatures, you will bend that resin. I can guarantee you, you will. Because we printed a piece that I left on my wall at the house um, about two years ago. And that thing warped massively. You cannot do resin for outside trains. Forget it. However, we have a plan. There's a new product on the market, well, here by us, called ASA. Now, this stuff is also UV resistant. It's even more heat resistant and uh, PG, it's more expensive. That's part of the problem. It's more expensive. It prints hotter. You know, you take a lot more. There's a lot more effort in it. But you get prints like this. This is straight off the machine. I haven't touched it. Yes, you still got to lay a line here and there. But it sands beautifully. I think I sanded the other side. This took me, this top bit here, took me about three minutes and it was done. It's just a quick sand just to level things out, and that will be the end of that. However, what do you see? Ha <laughs> ha! We have no doors. So what are we going to do now? I haven't done one. They're busy printing me a body so I can test it and see if I come right. I am going to print the whole shell like this now. So your whole basic body shell without any detail, except the top doors because they are easy to, to sand, your biggest problem lies on the doors here, all the detail here. You cannot sand here like a Viking because all the detail will go. All right, so you need to keep those hinges and stuff nice and crisp, and that's very, very difficult. Now, if we do it like this, and we print the basic frame, and we resin print the doors, that you have detail like this resin nose. Look at that. That is the sort of detail that you get from resin, and that is beautifully crisp, eh? All right, so you will have all your doors looking like that, all your um, nuts and bolts and rivets and stuff will look like that, which is exactly what you want, and then you just stick them on you. Look, you'll have to have your maths right, so that you know where to stick what, and you must block straight. Yeah, this is going to be a... Uh, you have to know what you, you're doing. But you keep these here to guide you, the door handles. You can keep to guide you. All right. And 
because you will be able to see through that handle. So you just line it up with this, which should work theoretically. All right, so I can't wait. I, I look at the top, the actual rivet there on top there. Check how crisp that is and how, how this is. Look at the hinges as well. Very, very nicely printed. Um, it just prints brutally, I have to say. So keep an eye out. We'll build another 34 GM for myself, Summer. I want to test one as a dummy and build it the dummy blocks to pull with, just with a speaker and a smoker in it. See if I can get that right. And maybe this is the perfect opportunity to test everything. So we'll do a body like this, this way, and we'll take it from there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and then uh, as we progress with this whole thing, I'll keep you updated. Okay, dudes, I'm going to go. Thank you. Good. Uh, tot ziens.